over here. Good morning. I'm out at uh, Hillsdale Lake today. Uh, I was originally going to fish a uh, kayak tournament out here. Uh, it was about a month ago. I have not been on the water in about 10 weeks. Uh, I was having some stomach pains uh, a couple months ago. Uh, and I went into the emergency room. It turned out I needed an emergency appendectomy, uh, which is not... The appendectomy wasn't a huge deal, but uh, when they took a CAT scan of my stomach, uh, they found a cancerous tumor inside of me. And so, uh, about six weeks ago, three weeks after my first surgery, I had the tumor taken out. Uh, I'm now cancer free, uh, at least I hope so. <laughs> But yeah, it's been a tough couple months. I'm super, super excited to be out again on the water. Uh, it feels really good. I'm starting to get my strength back. I was lucky my buddy uh, helped me load and unload in the kayak today. I'd like to thank Dr. Kramer. He really went out of his way to get me in quickly and get the cancer removed. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, so did all the people, uh, nurses and doctors out at North Kansas City. I'd like to thank my beautiful, amazing wife, keeping uh, the family together. She, uh, she had a tough time too. Taking care of three small children is not easy. Yeah, so like I said originally, I was gonna fish the kayak tournament out here. So I'm gonna measure uh, my best five today. Well, actually I'll probably have to split into two trips because I've only got about four hours out here today. And I know it's not the exact same, it was a month ago, so uh, not, the, not quite the same, but uh, I'd just like to see how it would have done. Hopefully we'll get on them. It's just awesome to be back out on the water. That didn't take long. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Hang on, buddy. Who's stuck in good? Alright. First fish of the day. So, get a measurement on this guy. Back up out of here so I don't ruin this spot. Not bad at all. Thirteen and a half. I would take that all day, every day. Thirteen and a half. Good start. One out of five, baby. I, well, he hit. I was. It was actually pretty close. Yeah, he might have followed it off of there. It's hard to say. It's like the second bass I've ever caught out here. Hands smell fishy. No, that was like the third cast, man. I'll take it. <laughs> How's it handle? 
<laughs> Steve did fall in. Steve, don't try to get in it out here. Head to shore. 67 degree water. You all right? What happened? My chair broke. Do you have scissors? Or can you hold this steady for a second? Oh, I think I lost my phone. Oh, I can stand now. Thank you. Yeah, you all right? I'm fine. Let's take it to shore. Here, I'll take it to shore. I got it, I'm standing. Okay. I lost a rod or two, probably. I got three, four. You should just start walking ashore, man. That's right. Sixty seven degree water. I had to ask you how the water temperature was. <laughs> Yeah, I was over there uh, filming my intro, getting emotional about uh, having cancer, and then I heard this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so did you go to set the hook? Uh, did you lose your phone? Yeah, that's insured. It's fine. All right. Thank you. Just watch. Well, lucky you, dude. Could have been worse, I guess, huh? Go check out this wood over here. Looks like there's some lay downs. Flip it and then I'm gonna head to the other side. There's a little more shade on the other side, I think. This looks like some nasty stuff in here. It's just so we need to try a left handed cast. Ah, pretty good. Try going to a lighter weight and see if that helps. And if that doesn't, well, maybe I'll change colors. Jimmy Houston knot. Some people call it the double uni. Squirrel. It smells fishy over here. Sorry, buddy. All right. Guys are living eleven inches. Have a great rest of the day.
Yeah, that'll clue me in. That was on a bluegill swim jig. So maybe I should start throwing some uh, bluegill stuff here. It's a six cent swim jig. Maybe I should flip a jig. That was a bass. That was a good one too. Yeah. Try again. That's encouraging though. Yeah, he bit me. Let's try and get back in there. Bluegill beds. So uh, I'm going to try to come out tomorrow and I'll have another four hours to fish. Far we've cut two uh, for around 24 inches or so. And, I mean, not terrible. This is a tough lake. I'm just, I'm just really happy to be out here again and to be on the water and just not be thinking about stuff other than trying to catch a fish. Really good day overall. Everything seems to be up real shallow. Hopefully they'll be there again tomorrow. We'll have another four hours or so to fish. Need three more to get a limit, uh, which is my goal. But really, just grateful to be out here. I'm just super glad that I get to get back to the things I enjoy. Really just not think about other things and just enjoy myself and try to catch some fish. If you're going through something similar, keep fighting. You'll get back to what you love soon enough. In the words of my brother, you know, never give up, never surrender.